Sprite Eye, everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to clone a sprite and then uh, check to see whether our sprite has collided with the clone. And uh, if it has, then we're going to get a score. So we're going to control a variable. Uh, we're going to keep track of score. So we still have our, our original uh, joystick controls here, the arrow keys. I just added next costumes for each each time that the, our sprite has changed position just to animate it. So every time I press a key, uh, this cat will be animated. I've also added the ball sprite. The ball sprite is going to be our clone. So I'm going to have the ball pop up at random places. And, and the cat is going to have to run around the screen and collect them. So let's start that. So let's go to events and when the green flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to move this ball to the corner of the screen and hide it because I'm going to clone it and make it pop up at various at random points. So looks, I'm going to change the look of it. I'm going to hide it so it doesn't show on the screen. And I'm going to go into motion and go to go to uh, some point there. So it'll be, let's say, 232 for X and 168 for Y. It'll be, if I click it, it'll be it's on the top right-hand corner already. So uh, that's it. Now we just have to uh, make 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 it clone let's go to control and create clone of myself i'm going to need that block and when i start as a clone now notice you cannot put this below any other command this is a new command so when the clone is created it sends a signal to this block here so this block can be separate this one has to be joined up to these ones so but I need to create more than one clone. I want the balls to pop up all over the place. So I need um, a forever loop. And create clone. And I need to control it so they're not popping up too fast. We'll just start at one second. So every second, a clone will be created. So what happens when the clones are created? We need to show it. Because right now uh, the ball is hidden and I want it to move to a different spot, some random spot. So I need the go to command. And right now the go to command is where the, this ball is hidden in the corner, but I want it at a random spot. Now if I go to operators, operators is anytime you need to uh, control the math or the letters of words and join them and stuff like that, variables in general. Um, so we're going to go pick random for X and pick random for Y. And I'm going to use minus 150 for the first number and plus 150 for the second number. And same with uh, Y. I'm going to go minus 150 all the way to plus 150. Okay, so after it's moved to its random spot, it should show. So when I click this, there, and if I click it again, there. Now it's just showing up at random spots. So I'm just going to let it run and see how it looks. Now I see it doesn't go too far left or too far right. Up and down is good. So I'm going to change uh, the X values. I'm going to go minus 200. To plus 200 that should be good now I need a way to tell if my sprite the cat is going to get the ball what's gonna happen when they get the ball I want the ball to disappear and I want to get points for getting the ball so we have to code that so I'm gonna go back to the cat here so let's go to variables oh. let's go to make a variable we're going to call this variable score. And we will set the score to zero at the beginning of the game. And you see it's zero here. 
because we don't want the score from the last game when we start this game. It should start at zero every game. Now I'm going to click the ball. Um, so what happens when this ball shows up? We need to tell if the ball is coll is colliding with the sprite. So we need to do that. So let's go into a uh, control, go to a forever loop. And then we need an if then statement if the ball is touching the cat. So we got to go into sensing. So if the ball, because this code is for the ball, is touching, now it says mouse, mouse pointer, we'll hit this arrow and choose sprite one, which is the name of the cat. Then, then we want to change score. So then we want to, so go into variables, we want to change score by whatever I'm gonna put 10 and then I want the clone to disappear I don't want the clone still there after I got the points for it so then I want to go to control the bottom of the control and delete this clone I want this clone deleted after after I've gotten it after the cat has gotten it and the score goes up so let's just try that do not see Oh, that's why. See, I had this delete outside the if loop, so it would appear, and even if it wasn't touching, it would disappear. This delete needs to be inside the if, like that, so that if they're touching, if the ball is touching the cat, I get a score and the ball disappears. That's why the balls weren't showing up. So let's try that again. So let's let's check it out. Start. There we go. I'm getting points. Balls are disappearing. And it's working well. Right on.